In the foreigners, there are cults of people, men and women, who wish to be ancient. They have modern augmentations removed from their bodies, including the fillings in their teeth and even life-saving devices. They dress and act as if they're from the earlier centuries. And I, I think they should read your book before they go around glorifying the past. You got any warnings for would-be time travelers yearning to return to the Viking era? Yeah, sure. I'd say the most important thing is uh, take some lessons in politeness, because politeness is different from one place and one time to another, and you could easily make yourself very unpopular. I think this happens even, you know, in our day. I remember when I first came to America, I got rather annoyed because uh, people kept asking me questions. But in my kind of background, Northern English, uh, you were pretty careful about asking people questions. But people are always on at me and saying, where do you come from? What do you do for a living? How are you getting on? Are you happy in your job? How is your research going? Have you found a publisher? Yeah, I thought you used to think, uh, hold it, hold it. I don't want to tell you that kind of thing. After a bit, I realized they were just being friendly, but it didn't seem friendly to me. Uh, and so I'd say, well, you got to learn to respect people's personal space more than we do. So don't ask questions and uh, don't tell people what to do. That's rude. Uh, again, sometimes, you know, people do that kind of thing, being friendly, meaning to be polite, but it can be taken wrong. So yeah, I would say, think before you speak. So what would be considered quite rude to a Viking? Well, well I'll tell you one example, and that's, this is not about a Viking. Uh, uh, a friend of mine from one of the southern states, he, his first academic job was up in, uh, in, in the north. And at the end of his first class, he said something like, um, well, y'all might like to take a look at chapter four before we meet again. And his mentor, who was at the back of the class, got up and said, what he means is chapter four <laughs> is assigned reading and it will be on the test. But my friend didn't like to say things like that. Now, actually, I think, uh, talking to Vikings, you better talk like someone from the southern states, not like someone from the northern states. Good tip for time travelers. <laughs> yes, that's right.